Hello YouTube. We've got uh, some more unboxing goodness for you today. This package was shipped to me from uh, someone I've uh, known for quite a while uh, in a Facebook group I'm a member of. I don't uh, remember his YouTube name. So, you know, I'll probably put it in the description or something if I uh, remember it. There's a whole bunch of good stuff in here. This is uh, a power adapter. And here we have the main attraction of the package, which is an IBM ThinkPad T60, including its original, whoops, its original docking station, and uh, and the key actually, which is nice. I'll put it on my bed for now. I've got uh, a supply of bubble wrap for about uh, two and a half centuries, so that should last me for a good while. Always handy. And another power brick. Made by Lenovo? Okay. I believe the T60 was made during a period of uh, a big transition between IBM and Lenovo. So some of these parts actually still have IBM branded on them, some have Lenovo. This, oh, yeah, this other power adapter is also Lenovo. Okay, that's fine. I believe it's currently in the unlocked position. And we just have to press the undock button to undock the laptop. We'll take a look at the docking station in a little while. For now, we're just going to take a look at the ThinkPad laptop itself. I've been told there are a couple of things wrong with it. Nothing too major, just a couple of... Uh, it just needs some TLC, let's put it that way. As far as I can see, the lid is slightly worn. It's a bit scratched. Nothing too major, actually, I was expecting worse. Supposedly, there are a couple screws missing. And of course, uh, I have to put this thing back in there. Uh, yeah, there's a screw missing, that's why this thing popped out because it's held in place by a screw. Well, actually, this is the hard drive bay. Yeah, this is the hard drive bay, and it's missing a screw, so I'll have to put in a screw on that. There's a screw missing right there on the side of the lid. Yeah, let's just count the missing screws for now. So we've got two missing screws on there. Nothing to see right here. Apparently, the express card slot over here is broken. Does not bug me even the slightest, actually. So, we're taking a look here at the bottom. We're missing a keyboard screw. Uh, we're missing another screw over here. We're missing one over there in the corner. Over here in this corner. And we're missing one right there. And there. And there. Yeah, it's missing a fair bit of screws, but it's still very well put together, and it actually doesn't seem all that rough. The XP serial has uh, definitely perished, or maybe it's the Vista serial. XP Professional, it says, okay, yeah. And it has a, a dent here. Probably fell on something, or someone just stabbed something in it. So overall, it's in need of some TLC, and it shows here and there, but the thing it shows most of all is that it's, this thing, it's, it's a fucking ThinkPad. It's rugged as hell, it's been through, well, it's been through hell, actually, I think, just judging by what it looks like, and it still looks the part, really. Oh yeah, and this is also a little bit uh, of an issue. It catches on the top case, because there are screws missing there, I think. Yeah, so you can't open the screen hinge without actually poking something underneath. But that is okay. I will see what I can do about that, uh, about that and uh, I'll continue the video uh, you know, at some point after that. But anyway, 
First, gonna take a look at the side. This is where the hard drive is located. <laughs> we found that out pretty quickly. This is where a DVD drive would usually be. I was told that this now contains a caddy, and indeed it does. So no DVD ROM drive. I think this is some kind of uh, proprietary connector though. So I won't be able to put anything in there because I don't I actually do have did I have a SATA one? I do have IDE ones, plenty of them actually. But anyway, we've got two USB ports here, 2.0. Kensington lock, 9 cell battery. The power input. Vent, all good vents. VGA, modem, gigabit ethernet, microphone, headphone jack, USB 2. And this is the express card slot which was uh, broken to my knowledge. That pretty much concludes the overall overview of the base unit itself. We will now take a look at the base station, or uh, at the docking station. Oh yeah, here in the front we have an IR receiver, Wi-Fi switch, and the latch, and that's it, and speakers and stuff. But yeah, let's take a look at the docking station for now. And uh, in a short while I'm just going to try and see if I can patch things up there. So this is the original IBM ThinkPad T60 docking station. This is the button to undock it. And the power button up there. We've got the original key, which is a very nice touch. And overall, it's just a docking station. It's more of a port replicator, if you ask me. But, you know, you can just dock the laptop in here. And then you have your laptop at a better angle. So, it's easier to work with, I guess. But yeah, so we've got a number of extra ports here that uh, are not on the laptop itself, such as serial and, and parallel ports, as well as DVI and a couple more USBs. I actually come to think of it, I think if you put that thing up on a docking station, you actually get a duplicate of these ports. It's actually have more ports. At least it uh, looks like that to me, anyway. So yeah, there's not really much to show here. I'm uh, going to try to see if I can actually patch the, uh, the ThinkPad up a little bit. I've got uh, a shitload of small laptop screws that I took from different kind of laptops. I'm sure I can find some that will actually fit. It might not look the part, but at least, you know, I'd uh, rather have uh, function above form. So, I'm going to put the docking station down again. We're going to uh, see if I can actually patch up the ThinkPad, and I will be right back. Okay, surgery is over. I've actually uh, patched it up quite well, I must say. The top case, the palm rest, was not aligned. It would not fit properly. I've made that fit perfectly, actually. The latch is beyond repair. I have to take apart the screen and fix that. So I decided I, uh, I did something else instead. It's not the prettiest fix in the world. Actually, it's actually not even a fix. I cut that uh, catching part of the latch. Just like that one, but that one is now missing. I decided to cut it off because there was no point in keeping it. Because it would just catch on here. And it's quite a bit of a pain in the ass. Actually, actually I have to, uh, you know, get a card like this and, you know, move it in there so you can actually open the laptop. Because I do intend actually to uh, take this with me to do uh, some scripting assignments on Linux for my uh, school, actually. But, uh, you know, we're actually inside a laptop right now, as in the inside of the working area, if you want to call all that. This is the screen over here. I believe this is a 14-inch display. And the resolution of it is quite astounding, but I'll get to that later. So the keyboard is... Uh, I'm just checking from the side. It's a little bit glossy, but it doesn't look very worn. Just reasonable wear for, the, for its age, I guess. It feels great. I've actually never owned uh, a reasonably modern ThinkPad before, so this is actually quite new to me. 
and I really like this keyboard. But yeah, at first I was like, I was trying to fix this palm rest here, and I was like, yeah, if I can't fix this palm rest, then I'm definitely going to keep it, keep it at home and just use it in the docking station and just fuck it. But then I actually got it got it fixed, and now it works, I think. You know, the latch is still broken as fuck, so you just have to push it all the way back there, and it just, it'll just stay closed, sort of. I've actually put a screw here in the screen, so uh, the bezel doesn't move. I've uh, replaced a couple of screws on the bottom of the laptop. I've put one in here, so this corner uh, stays uh, where it is. Let's see, I put a keyboard screw in there, so the keyboard stays in its place. Oh yeah, and I put a screw in here, and I put a screw in the uh, hard drive caddy thing. So not the caddy that's in the uh, ultra bay, but, you know, right here. So the uh, hard drive can go anywhere. And pretty much all there is left to uh, this overview of this acquisition of this Artium ThinkPad T60 is to uh, hook it up and see if it actually works. So I'm going to do just that, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm seeing all kinds of good signs here. We have power, we have battery. It's successfully docked and locked. So it's locked and loaded, I guess. Smoke test! Oh yeah! By the way, I don't know if you can actually see that. Yeah, you see those markings on the display? That's because of uh, the keyboard. That's a very common problem with older laptops, that the screens smash into the keyboard and then the, the keys actually leave an imprint on the, uh, on the display. And take a look at how tiny that cursor is. Holy shit. Now that's what I call a resolution. <laughs> the base model of the ThinkPad T60 had an XGA display. That's 1024 by 768. The more premium models of the T60 had SXGA displays. That's 1400 by 1050. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a QXGA display, a resolution of 2048 by 1536 pixels on 14 inches. This is Retina before Retina became a thing. It's ridiculous in person. <laughs> Let's see if we can actually get a focus on that. We can't? Nope, we can't. It's even too tiny for the camera today. Seriously, that's actually, yeah, it's, it's, it's too much for the camera even. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Battery's still good though. 67% left. Previous owner told me this, uh, this thing still lasts about an hour, maybe two hours. And with this uh, big of a display, that's actually not bad. So let's see what kind of specs we got here. We have an Intel Core 2 Duo T5500, 1.67 gigahertz, 2 gigs of DDR2. Don't know why he actually installed 64 bit on it, but I guess he used 4 gigs or something. So that's all good. Now I'm definitely going to put in 3 gigs. And we have HI Mobility Radeon X1300 graphics. We have drivers from the Dark Ages. And it appears to be running okay. I'm definitely going to uh, put a clean install on here.
These animations are almost smooth, but I can live with that. We have a 320 gigabyte hard drive. I really know that's a 250. Yeah, definitely. It's a 250 gigabyte hard drive on this thing. I can live with that. So, yeah. Let's check the health because he wasn't too sure about it. So let's just take a look at that. We get a warning, it has 7,000 hours on the clock. We have 14 current pending sector count. Let's see, no reallocated sectors just yet, just pending sectors. Well, I can deal with that. You know, as a matter of fact, I've got a disc laying around has even less hours on it. I'll probably put it in here, use that, and slap windows on it. <laughs> but I guess this is a good moment to end this pretty massive video about this uh, Lenovo ThinkPad T60. That's in a little bit of a sorry state here and there, but it's still, it, it has the most stunning display I've ever seen on a laptop. It's IPS, it's QXGA, it's massive. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did, and I thank you all for watching. And uh, feel free to comment and like, because, well, it exists, so why not?